Morning guys, I hope you're doing well. Today, I'm visiting my old school, my old high school based in Gorton in Manchester, right? Uh, just because I've not been for a while and it's nice to catch up with all my old teachers. But before that, anyway, I'm going to the cafe, get myself some bacon barb or something like that to fill me up because I only had cornflakes this morning. Even though I shouldn't eat cornflakes because it's bad for me, my blood pressure is really bad at the moment, so... Who cares, eh? Because I love cereal anyway, since I was born. Yeah, let's get to it, let's go. It's crazy, right? You have to turn on the car, you have to press the button here, you have to press the button and press the brake at the same time. Like that. So it comes on. It's so cool as well. Literally, man. 24 play as well, what do you expect? So, anyway, hit, let's hit the road. <laughs> Got myself a bacon sandwich as per usual. I'm gonna eat and enjoy it off again. My old high school, this. Back in a day. Right, guys, just in case you're wondering, I changed clothes because yesterday I forgot to vlog. Anyway, yesterday I've been to my old school. And to be fair, it was actually a really good morning because we did like two lessons. We did like artwork and then ICT afterwards, or IT, if anyone knows, knows that. And after that, I've seen the other old teachers and um, they, they're just really supportive, you know, because they understand my condition and how I've been through and most women in that school, jeez, gave me a massive fucking kisses everywhere, honestly, it's crazy. Then after that, I left about one o'clock and then visited, not one o'clock, that's a little lie, about half one. And then went back to my old job, which was a school based in Manchester, obviously. I went there about after two o'clock and it was it was decent it was okay but i felt like the vibe was off like it was nothing special it was like it was, it was a good idea to leave anyway because i felt like the atmosphere's change and it's not really it anymore um especially this person and this person i used to get on with a lot uh, when i first started my old job which was four plus years ago and me and her used to get on so well. We used to have a laugh in the office and stuff like that. And always have my back up, right? Or always on my side. But in the last year, um, 2023, and up to now, um, we're not really speak, speak as much, even though she doesn't have a problem with me. Um, I've noticed that I actually try to change a little bit. So in a way, for example, she just do cold or say one word and then that's it. All the other people, she said chatting and stuff. So I don't know what's all that about. Yeah, it's kind of sad, and she didn't even ask me how how I am with my kidney function and stuff, so it's a clear sign, really, so that's why I deleted her off my Instagram, because I don't really need her, anyway. I think she's a good person, but I just felt like she's a bit rude. But yeah, the school itself, it's not the same. Um, it's more to pretty much everyone else there, they're all right, but anyway, I've got a few stories to tell you about those two places. First school was at my high school, I visited um, in the morning, right? And I had some mad experience in that school. For example, um, this teacher, she's, she was an English teacher. We went to the park, it was like 10 plus years ago with the kids. And I was one of the students, right? And I was on the swing and obviously my school pants were coming down a bit. But then she was shouting, Deray, I can see your purple boxes. At the time it was top, top man boxes, you know what I mean? Back in the day, I don't think people wear those anymore, but she went, oh, I can see purple boxes, I can see, woo. I went, woo, I thought, whoa, that's a bit inappropriate. And I was like 15 at the time, I was like, wow, okay. Um, another one would be, uh, she let me off actually. Um, one time I was speaking, speaking to her, this lady, uh, she's a teaching assistant. She gave me a hug and then obviously by accident, I was like, I think I was like 17 at the time because I had a, I had a sixth form there and um, I, I touched her bum. Yeah, you heard that right. I touched her bum and um, she smiled and gave me a kiss. I was like, what the fuck is this? I don't know how I got away with that to be fair. Do you know what I mean? Oh yeah, well, another one would be as well is at the time where I was in the office, right, with me and my mate and two teachers, right? One male and one female. And the female was a his assistant head at the time. She has got to do the job properly, right? So she asked this question, who would you be or S-H-A-G in school? The first thought, I was like, why are you asking two pupils asking that question? We were like 
literally 18 at the time. And what no, one my mate was like 19, and I was like 17. So what kind of question was that? And I was like, well, I can do her. I'm gonna do her. I'm gonna do her. Like I was younger at the time. And then she went, would you do her? I was like, well, probably not because you're like mid 50s. And I mean, when what about me? And she just ignored him and thought, whoa. So what kind of question is that? I mean, it's fucked up. My old job was a teaching assistant where I visited yesterday as well. I'll probably say one time it was so messed up. This teaching assistant, yeah, if you know who you are, you know what I'm talking about. We were doing a disco um, party in late 2022 and I was dancing with the kids and enjoying it, right? This assistant, assistant head's daughter came and she was 13 at the time. I was holding an iPad and I don't want to hold it anymore. So I gave this little girl, 13, so can you mind it? I said, yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Well, I've been told a lie about us trying to chat with a kid. I was like, why would you do that? Like, what have I done to you? Uh, so I felt embarrassed and ashamed because why would anyone do that to me? Um, and that's why I've really, I left my old job last summer because of that as well. I don't, it's no need. Another time as well with teacher, she was so annoying because she just felt patronising me all the time what, what to do on my old job, do you know what I mean? Um, one incident where I was trying to feed this child. This child can't really feed himself properly. He can, but he struggles a little bit. So I'll try to feed him. And the teacher went, you can feed himself. So yeah, I know, I know that. And then I just carried on feeding him and she went, you can feed himself. So yeah, I know, I'm trying to help him here. And then the next minute she shouted at my face. Right, Dere, go have a word with you later. I was like, Oh wow, in front of the kids as well, which was the worst part, honestly. Yeah, she was just a dickhead, to be fair, she still is today. Um, um, I'll try for one more now. Yeah, during that time with old job, I seen about four or five women during that time. And then one time this girl, um, we were out in the nursery area in, in my old job. She really wanted me to go out with her after work. So she asked me my Snapchat, my number. She picked me up from my house and I went to see she, right? <laughs> yeah, we had a good time and flipping spoke a lot. Um, she really was thinking about me a lot today. Then after that, I went back to mine, but before I headed back to mine, we had a little moment where like, I, our eyes, it was that kitchen. To be fair, her car was a Toyota Yaris at the time as well, flipping out a yellow one, I think. Um, I can't believe we still remember that. Then I went back to mine, and then my parents went up from mine, and a little parking space, and then started snogging in that. Yeah, she was actually good at it, to be fair, and yeah, I remember that forever. I got so many more stories about my two schools, but maybe in future, but anyway. Hope you enjoy the vlog, and if you got any questions or any own stories about your own job or anything like that, comment down below or DM me at any time. Anyway, speaking a bit.